Okay, lovey, what do you have for me today? What if you feel joy in your partner's misery? Well, you either have a toxic relationship and you should probably leave, or you have some serious work to do on yourself that you're finding joy in the misery of, of others. And we're going to set aside the fact that there's people with that type of sexual preferences and we're assuming everybody in that kind of relationship is actually not actually miserable. And so we're going to put those aside. But we're talking about genuine people who are genuinely feeling joy. That's an awful lot strong word, you know. <laughs> now, now I've felt you know sometimes when I, dang it I've told you three times not to do that and you go ahead and you do it anyway and I felt dang it see I freaking well, told you well see I but told I you don't, so but I don't feel joy or maybe or maybe even you get that the instantaneous well I serve you right you don't hold it very long but it crosses your mind it crosses <laughs> my mind I yeah, hate to that's, admit it we're human right come on we're human she's like well yeah would you expect was going to happen you know that's a human reaction that's a human feeling we're not talking about that we're talking about where you're having someone you're in a relationship with someone and they're having a crappy day and you're genuinely happy about it that's scary yeah now you could argue maybe they've done something in the past to kind of deserve it but then why are you still in a relationship You know, if they've, let's say if they've cheated on you and you're still harboring resentment over it, well, then you either shouldn't be in the relationship or you still have more work to do on yourself. Because I'm not saying there's never a time where that, that emotion isn't necessarily warranted. There's people out there who are not nice. And so if you're with a, let's say you happen to be, get your hands of a predator they get some come up and uh, you know and you feel a bit of joy in it there's nothing wrong with that but it's a different thing i don't think that's what we're really talking about here we're talking about where you're just you're the predator and if you feel in yourself it sounds like it if you're feeling yourself like maybe you're the predator then you've got some work to do on yourself you know there's nothing harder than to take a look at the mirror and see where you need to improve yourself as a human being but we all have to do it otherwise the world just becomes a, a place with a lot of damaged people well like aristotle said and i watched a special on him last night you know life and examined is not worth living yeah well because you don't know what you've done If you don't genuinely know what you've done, how do you know what you're doing? How do you know where you want to go? Yeah. How do you know what kind of person you are? How do you know where you want to who you want to be if you never take the good hard look in the mirror? And that good hard look in the mirror is the first act of love in a case like this. And I think that is your daily dose of love.